Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. I am coach number 33 and am an executive manager with Fun Stampers Journey. Um, so today I am going to show you how to create this little tassel that's just right there dangling in the middle um, that I used uh, or that I say I created for my Valentine's banner that is hanging on my living room wall right now. So um, back during, uh, oh gosh, was it, I don't know if it was Christmas or Thanksgiving Black Friday time, they were having a mega sale on this little guy right here. And I was trying to find the little packaging that I had for it. But of course it's like fallen way, way down below. But basically it, this is the boy pom-pom and tassel maker. And they had this, it was on one of their door busters. And I was like, I love me a good pom-pom and tassel maker. So I actually have the Clover pom-pom maker, but it's the smaller ones. And this one came with the Hugongo big mama one. And it came with the tassel maker little deal. So I was like, I'm totally getting this. Cause it was the door, pro uh, door not door price. It was a door buster. So the price was good. Anyway, so I busted it out today to create my, actually I guess it was yesterday, to create my tassels. And guys, I know that we all know how to make tassels, right? You get your cardboard, you put a little slit, you hold your um, yarn and you, you know, you wind it through, then you put a little knot around it. We know how to the old way, right? Well, so I taught art for the past, gosh, many years. Um, and I would always do that, but then inevitably, yes, they work, but you know, cardboard will get old and, um, not, not strong enough and it'll tear and blah, blah, blah. So how nice is it to have a nice durable plastic that you can adjust for different sizes and you don't have to cut and you don't have to keep uh, getting new ones every time because yours is worn out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made or how I made, how I made my tassel using this. I've used it to make 14, 15, 16 tassels already and I love it. It's great. I think it's super, super handy, super easy. Um, it's exactly how I make tassels before, but just maybe a little bit more fancy, right? Um, and this came with this, okay? Um, it came together. So I don't know if they sell those separately. Um, and you can also get online. I believe I got mine at Joann's. Okay, so anyway, just gonna show you how I use this to create the tassel. And I will create a video on how I made pom-poms with it as well. Um, but this one is first, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera over so you can see my hands and what I do, and we'll get started. Okay, so um, we've got our tassel that I kind of quickly made here earlier, and then we have the tassel maker. Again, this is from the boy pom-pom and tassel maker kind of kit. And the next thing you need, obviously, is some yarn or embroidery thread or whatever it is that you're using to create the tassel. I wanted yarn because I wanted kind of a poofy, uh, tassel. Uh, the other thing I want to say is when you get your yarn and you break it out and you get the, you know, the little part that's from the center, if you want nice and straight tassels, then you might want to like get to a point where you got nice and straight yarn. You know, when it first comes out, it's real, it's kind of curly cue-ish. You might not get the straightest, um, tassel that you want. So just keep that in mind. To begin with, you need a piece of yarn and I, gosh, six inches or so is what I did. It all depends on this piece right here. The very first piece that you're going to use is going to be the um, the handle or kind of like what looks like the bookmark top um, to your tassel. It won't be part of the tassel body. Again, it's just the part that you hold up top. So six to seven inches or so is, is about average from what I've, uh, what I've noticed. Now, the very first step is you took, take this piece and you put it over the top. There's these little notches at the top here and here and you basically so it's going to hold um it's going to hold this piece in place while you um loop all your other threads around it okay so that's the first step and then from there you have your loose yarn so I just kind of grabbed a whole bunch from my skein here and what I do is I, so you gotta pick the length, right? So I've already kind of picked it to be this length. Mine were kind of short because I wanted mine to match the kind of the length of, or the width of my banner. Uh, but you can make them as long as this here, okay? Which is about six and a quarter inches. And it tells you the dimensions right here. Okay, so six and a quarter. Um, but I wanted mine to be about the two and three quarters slot right there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thread and I kind of line it up with the edge there, the edge of how long I want my tassel to be, which is right here. And 
you're going to basically move these guys over. And at first it feels like, oh, is that okay? But that's what it's meant to do. And then from there, you just start wrapping it around as many times as you need, as thick as you want them to be. And I think I did mine to be 21 times around um, and counting each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, okay? So then I kind of hold it here and I actually uh, don't cut it off quite yet because I'm not ready. So I basically just kind of press it against the table and I shimmy this string up. So this is the string that I'm going to then shimmy up to the top and I'm gonna tie it. So this is gonna kind of keep all of my uh, strands together. And again, this is the loop that is going to hold it and it's gonna be what uh, creates the little, I don't know what that part is called, the, the holding area, I don't know, the loop, the tag, the whatever. So I did a little knot there, I'm actually gonna do two knots, so I don't want it to come undone. There we go. And then the top part, what I do in order for it to be usable, to be hung on my banner, is I um, make a knot with both of those together, with both strands together. So again, I call this like my bookmark knot because it looks like a bookmark knot. That's what bookmarks look like. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of ready. It's ready to go, right? But we're not ready yet for everything else. So what we're gonna do now is now we will snip this little extra piece off. Okay, and we need another, another piece to tie kind of the center to create that tasseled look to kind of squeeze it all together, cinch it closed. And so um, another six, seven inch piece or so is enough. You can trim, obviously you want it longer rather than shorter because if it's too short, then you're gonna have kind of some loose ends up here kind of sticking out. So you want it to basically, um, as long as this little piece here is, and so which is about what we uh, did. So what you'll do, kind of holding those together, because doesn't so it doesn't kind of pop out at you. This one will pop up sometimes. Is you're going to take that loose strand and you're going to stick it through this hole, and it's going around. Remember, you're cinching your pieces together and through. Make it even. Then you're going to tie another knot. Again, this is this right here, this act right here is what's going to create your tasseled look. Okay, now notice once we tie our knot, we kind of push this down and you see this is a little longer. That's good. You want it longer than you want it shorter. Basically, at this point, you can kind of shimmy it all out. This one's a little, the bottom's a little uh, easier to come out and this one I always pull up and just kind of shove out and then take it and take a good pair of scissors. I'm using my Detail Pro shears. Go through here and trim all that. So now you've got your loose um, strands. This, this piece right here, that kind of, it's where you touch your uh, major knot. You can take a, um, a needle or something sharp and kind of feed it back in on itself. Um, let's see, here's the button. Just because it's naturally gonna wanna kinda pop out like that. So I just like to feed it back into this area. So you can take it and let's see if I can grab a hold of it. It is a little tricky sometimes. I don't need anything so sharp. I need something pointed. I think my scissors should do a trick. And then just feed it back through. And that's gonna help it with being, um, I see it, with keeping it from just kind of popping out. There we go. So now all of your strands, we're gonna flow nicely, all of your little tassels. Nothing's gonna stick out kind of weirdly, okay? And then of course the next thing would be to kind of uh, quote unquote comb it down, push everything down, and then trim it. Trim it to the um, length that you desire, which most of them should already be about the same length. Again, that's the beauty of the tassel maker. You can get it uh, just perfect, but those long little extra strands that you did, that you used to tie together, um, will need some trimming. Okay, so basically that's it. 
That's pretty simple. Like the, the strategy, the technique is the same as you would if you made your own little cardboard tassel maker. Um, but I love that it is nice and sturdy. And again, it's uh, customizable. So if I wanted it the longer one, I would just wrap my strands all the way around here, shorter, shorter, however it is that you want. So pretty easy, pretty pretty awesome. I definitely give this a 10 out of 10 because it's awesome. Granted, my only thought was, I hope, I wonder if these little bendy pieces are going to last a while. I would hate for them to break because I will be, you know, you're going to be bending them often depending upon the length of a tassel that you need. And I can see this plastic kind of wearing out over time. So that's the only thing, but um, time will tell, I guess. And you know, there are these little knobbies here. So you're, it's intended to kind of, you know, latch on or whatever, which I don't really, I, I didn't find the need. It's supposed to kind of get them out of the way. It wasn't that big of an, an issue for me. I literally just kind of put them out of the way and wrapped it and it was no big deal. So in case you're wondering what those were for. Alrighty. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy peasy, right? Aren't they so cute? So cute! And of course you can use whatever um, fibers, uh, thread, embroidery, embroidery thread, um, or whatever that you want to create your cute little tassels. Okay guys, that's it for me. Check out that Valentine's banner that I made um, and that I decorated with these cute little uh, tassels. And as you know, I am with Fun Stampers Journey and so go check out my website for some super cute stamps and products. It's www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.